The B-2 Spirit, also known as the Stealth Bomber, is an American aircraft featuring low observable stealth technology designed to penetrate dense anti-aircraft defenses. With a crew of two pilots, the Stealth Bomber has a range of over 11,000 kilometers and can remain airborne indefinitely with the use of in-flight air refueling. The B-2 low observable stealth characteristics come from a combination of reduced acoustic, infrared, visual, and radar signatures to evade various enemy detection systems. In 2011, a group of elite B-2 pilots contacted Bremont about making a bespoke watch that represented their aircraft. B-2 pilot, Edge. We approached Bremont because of their reputation for making robust mechanical watches that incorporate an aircraft's design. Since we fly a sleek, black stealth bomber, we wanted a design that would reflect that. We didn't want a battery powered watch. We something more substantial for the work we do. The result was the Bremont B-2 chronometer. Bremont's B-2 military edition modifies the flagship Alt-1Z and incorporates a DLC case as well as a blacked out face to represent the B-2's stealth characteristics. The hands remain white for visibility and illumination at night. If you look very closely, the B-2 image can be seen at 3 o'clock. The watch turned out amazing and represents the B-2 bomber in what we do. There are only 20 B-2 aircraft in the world and they're flown by an elite group of pilots. The mission is demanding and the jet is complex. We wanted a watch that was up to the task. And of course, every pilot needs a big mechanical watch and Bremont certainly delivered. The Bremont B-2 available in retail stores, summer of 2013. Welcome everyone to Basel 2013. Really appreciate you all coming along tonight and seeing us. Um, you've seen some of our core collection, but what we have tonight that we want to announce is a relationship we've been working with Bletchley Park to create a very special limited edition watch, and it's going to be called the Code Breaker. Bletchley Park during the Second World War was the home of the Code Breakers. It was here that the Government Code and Cipher School worked on decrypting um, German and other Axis um, codes and ciphers. Um, a hugely important job um, and a very crucial one that um, helped provide war-winning intelligence to Allied commanders. Uh, many historians these days often estimate that um, the work here at Bletchley Park shortened the Second World War um, by two years, thereby saving millions of lives. It was here during the Second World War that thousands of codebreakers were recruited from a number of different disciplines. It could have been um, chess champions, previous chess champions, it could have been mathematicians, it could have been crossword experts, and they came here to do one thing, to break the Enigma code. I'm a member of the Bomb Rebuilds team. We are a group of volunteers who have rebuilt this machine from scratch. Every day, the key would change at midnight, about 30 networks would change, and on average, in three or four hours, every day they would break all of the important codes and be keeping up to date with the message. We're very pleased and excited to be working with Bremont on this project. Um, it's a great link for us with such a high quality brand. Um, and it's exciting to be able to release some artifacts in Bletchley Park to be actually embedded in the watch. We've got some original um, pine from Hut 6 where Alan Turing broke the Enigma code. Um, some punch cards coming out of uh, the, the Bletchley machines used for their databasing. But also, we've managed to get some parts from the original uh, Enigma machine that we're building into the rotor of the watch. Really pleased to be working with Bletchley Trust on this project, um, and also pleased to announce that part of the proceeds of the sales of the watches will go towards the restoration of the park, um, so it will be preserved for future generations. And we're only creating 240 um, steel code breakers and 50 rose golds. And you'll see these for the first time on the 26th of June. Um, we're hosting a party 
um, and a launch at Bletchley Park. So we look forward to seeing you there and thank you for coming.